opportunity to share with you my PhD journey. Today I'm going to talk about the first findings of my research. And I think it will be useful if I start this presentation with an overview of my PhD to help you understand, to help you to understand the whole picture of my PhD. <coughs> Have you ever received a bad news about the death of someone close to you as a result of road accident? Oh, sorry. This morning. Oh. Last week. I received this news this morning. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever received a bad news about the death of someone close to you as a result of road accident? Or have you ever asked yourself how many people are killed and injured every day in vehicle crashes. Do you know that on average 17 people die and 186 are seriously injured in Saudi roads every day? As a researcher, we need to do something. We need to study this phenomena from different perspectives in order to reduce the number of accidents. I am a social marketer whose aim is to improve our societies whose research is focused on helping people to drive safely. I would like to do something to help them. But the question is, how am I going to do so? And there are many questions need to be answered and understood before we can do anything. A simple question one can ask, what caused accidents? The good thing is that the literature helps us to understand and answer those questions and offer a comprehensive view on factors known to influence driver behavior, such as driver ability and personality characteristics. Many studies indicate that being angry behind the wheel is associated with a greater aggression, risk taking, and some crash related outcomes. Yet despite the importance of having this information, we still know little about the treatment of driving anger. Therefore, my PhD aims to assist young drivers in developing more effective coping strategies to manage anger and traffic. We applied appraisal theory of emotion to understand anger. And from this theory, we were able to develop three questions. And we asked young drivers in Riyadh about their perception, which I am going to show. I'll talk about it in more detail. The second stage of my research was focused on finding out more about coping strategy and important factors with regard to coping style. In the final stage, I interviewed young driver again to build and design a social marketing insight. This is my research in a nutshell. Now we shall move on to discuss the first findings of my research. Most social marketers start their analysis by defining the problem and the behavior they would like to address, which is a very important step toward social marketing intervention. Now, the question is, what is anger? To be honest, defining anger was one of the hardest tasks for me, because everyone knows what anger is and has had experience anger in their life. But the problem comes when someone asks me to, da to write down a definition of anger. You may discuss the causes of anger in terms of emotion. Why rather refer to the manifestation, the consequence of anger? Because I'm not a psychologist. And I would like to make this short. We decided to have some guidance from marketing literature. So from marketing literature, we found the three theories. Categories theory and dimensions theory, appraisal theory. The cognitive appraisal <coughs> approach attempts to explain the cognitive process of emotions by stating that people interrupt environmental stimuli according to their will be. In other words, its central concept is that emotions are produced by unique psychological appraisal made by the way people evaluate their surroundings. Which means a different emotional response or no emotional at all 
might occur for a different people experiencing the same episode and incident. Because emotions, a process is distinctive for each individual emotion, let us discuss in more detail about the appraisal of anger. According to Lazarus, to distinguish anger from other negative emotions, there are four necessary appraisal components that must be activated for anger to occur. The first is called relevance. So in a situation, there must be something relevant to you. The second, goal and kindles. That situation is stopping you to reach your goal. And an individual appraising the encounter and considering it as an assault on their self or social esteem. And finally, which is one of the most important components, is someone else blaming for that situation. Now, the aim of, of this, and of this uh, topic is to obtain a thorough understanding of anger in trouble and to find answers for the following three questions. The first, what types of traffic events cause drivers to experience anger? Second, why do drivers become angry in those types of traffic events? Third, how do drivers cope with anger during traffic events? I interviewed 12 people, six individually and six in focus group. Now, let's see the result of the first question. From the first question, I was able to, um, to obtain 20 traffic scenarios. A content analysis was used to reduce uh, those uh, uh, scenarios to four categories. The first, progress in view. Basically, uh, the situation is stopping you to reach uh, your destination. Second, reckless driving. Someone breaking the common law. Uh, he cuts into your lane without looking. Hostage just uh, you know, give your finger or something like that. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this. This court, you see, um, Another driver engaged in this courtesy behavior, for example, this is a real example, he cuts into my lane without demonstrating any respect, any respect for me or the rules of the road. For the second question, uh, that the result can be also categorized into two groups. Someone else being blamed for the harmful situation. So someone else being blamed for the harmful situation. And also someone else, this is an important part of anger to be activated in traffic. Someone else being blamed for an insulting act. So other responsibility is an important factor in traffic. The third question, um, we found a strong relationship between aggression and anger in traffic. Uh, there are three important factors influencing people, how they do, how they cope the driver's experience. So the more experience, you know, they understand and they have some experience with this situation. And also passengers in the car, if you, your mother or children with you, you might control yourself. But if your friends with you, they may be you in trouble, you in trouble. So who the offender is, what? So if he old, they say, okay, come on, he's old, you just leave it now. If he young, no, you might do something different. Uh, what they do, what they did, uh, some of them do positive thinking, uh, you know, the reward of forgiving or for forgiveness, and others do aggressive reaction, chasing and stopping. In conclusion, the result revealed that there are three important people or groups need to be considered in any road safety strategy. First, the drivers, which is obvious, and the, the other drivers who blame, who deserve the blame, and the messenger, if applicable. So we, we need to do two important things. The first, preventing anger to be experienced in traffic by targeting all those people, not only the drivers. For example, a driver, they may, they may um, um, okay, just okay. Three, three seconds. A driver uh, could go to involve in a training course, 
And we could also promote a road a courtesy to encourage people to show apologize if they do mistakes and passenger to encourage them to help uh, drivers to control uh, their anger. I was thank you again for allowing me to be this morning and uh, thank you. Any questions please? Okay, so the for your question is, uh, does culture affect um, your anger while you're traffic, or in traffic? Well, uh, from the literature, anger is a common across a different culture. From the literature, yeah, anger is common across a different culture. Yes, um, the time of situation might be different. The level of anger might be different, but uh, the, the emotion of anger, it's there. It's in traffic in any way. Uh, what about the structure of roads, you know, the infrastructure? Yes. And now I am in my uh, fourth year, so inshallah, almost done, inshallah. Um, the conclusion might be that driving anger cannot be solved unless there are different uh, factors need to be considered before we, uh, we, we try to solve anger. Now, most of us now drive here in UK, when you go back, um, for the first week or the second, you drive, you know, nice, mashallah, <laughs> very uh, obeying the roads, and then you can't control yourself. People not allowing you to drive uh, in, in, in a such way. So you will change yourself because the environment, the environment, okay, the environment is, is, is not helping you uh, to drive. By sorry, by the environment you mean uh, the behavior of the... The environment is the road design, okay. the work uh, constructions, the behavior of other drivers, all these things affecting you. The weather also affecting you. Hot weather is not, uh, if it's rain, we will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Question. Yes. Um, excuse me, can the law absorb the delay law to control the situation? Can, sorry, can? The law? Yeah. Okay, well, the question about law, because I'm social marketer, we don't believe about law. Uh, uh, now, Sahel, Sahel is a good example of law. You know, the, I, I, my, in my questionnaire, there is a question about speed. If you have a, have a ticket, you during the last, the, the, three, the last three years, 75% of them say yes, although we have Sahel during the, you know, the last three years. So the, the sample was 700 people. So is it quite a number, quite, um, I mean, a high percentage stating that they have um, a drug in the speed, although there is a law, which is sad on the money. Law can do something, but alone, I don't, I doubt it. Thank you very much, Nay. Thank welcome. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.